getting a little a little uh, hairy in there, but uh, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Okay, well we are back at our favorite place in the whole world today. We are back at Goodwill. <laughs> we are in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Um, sitting outside the Goodwill, it's a little rainy and dreary today, so we are going to seek shelter inside. And we're gonna see what we can find, buy and flip for a profit. So, here we go. Look at all of this fun Halloween. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna have a Halloween in, what month is it? March, April, Halloween in April sale? Look at this. <laughs> These are so good. We've got like this. Oh my gosh. This is great. This is like somebody's crafty stuff. This is so fun. Look at it all. We're just gonna fill up on Halloween today. This is fun. It's not that fun. It's the last modern tag on there. What else? I feel like I'm missing something. I saw something else that I really liked and now I'm like not able to focus. We got the fun witch. We got that pumpkin thing. We got the long-legged creatures. You know, I really do like this. I feel like I'm gonna grab her anyway. She reminds me of a vintage, um, like, jack-o'-lantern candy thing. So we'll grab her. Over here we have the Dia de los Muertos. Those are really fun. Maybe it's fancy. <laughs> Another crafty thing. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna hang out in this aisle, I feel like. There are a few insulators, the Hemingway. And what is this one? I don't recognize that. I'm going to make all the insulator people cry and set that back on the shelf. Oh, these are really cute. These little Avon. Look at all this Avon. Oh my goodness. I wish that Avon had more value. I really do. Some of it is just really cute. Wayne something. Oh, those witches are great. We're going to grab those witches. Cheese. Oops, there's people behind me now. Ooh, there's more over there. <laughs> Let's go to the other side. Oh my gosh. I love them. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Is this one the same artist? signature on this one. I don't think I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to have to look them over. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so good. It's very primitive in style. <laughs> I'm like so ready for fall. Is that weird? Because we're not even to summer yet. Maybe I shouldn't say things like that. It's like blasphemous, right? <laughs> oh, look at this little cutie. $2.99 on that. $6.99. That's supposed to look primitive. We'll take that. Missed that. Stick that in there. All right. Well, we cleared it out. What is this thing? I think that's like contemporary, isn't it? It's like a foam. Yeah, it is definitely contemporary. All right. See anything else that I need to have? It's made from wood. Those are ceramic. Oh, hey, look, here's a, is that Yankee Candle? No, some of the uh, Yankee Candle Halloween ones can uh, be worth good money. Let's see. That's neat for like the front door. I'll grab that too. <laughs> All right, well, I filled the cart with Halloween. That was very unexpected. You know, sometimes something unexpected happens, but that was definitely not on my bingo card for today. This is really darling. A little trinket box. That is Art Mark, made in Taiwan. That's sweet. I don't know, uh, I don't think it's probably worth a whole lot. How much do they have on it? $2.99. It is very sweet, but I think I'm gonna leave it behind. I have a cart full of Halloween. 
I could go home happy. There is a seal shaker. He's all by himself though, and that's so funny because I donated one of those to another great bill because it was all by itself. I don't know what it's supposed to go with. Here's a nice dish right there. I think that is the base to a Fenton Fairy Light for $2.99. I think we're gonna grab that and hope that maybe the rest of the Fairy Light is lurking around here somewhere. If not, I tend to pick up little pieces here and there and maybe a year from now we'll be able to complete it. Ooh, that is a Brenda Roarball doll. She sculpted that from clay, that's my guess. Please don't fall over. It's a pretty looking vessel. It's kind of strange and there's no real place to put a signature. I do like the glaze on it, so I think we'll sneak that into our cart. Uh, and then this. I don't see any markings or signatures on that. What in the world is this? That is right up there um, with very cool. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> okay, so one of the items I would love to find is not just the top of that fairy light, but the insert. I found one once at a Goodwill. I think just that piece alone is like 50 to 60 bucks on eBay. I figured I'd creep in here for a second. Looks like there's some EAPG. Horseshoe. Um, I don't remember the name of that pattern. EAPG has never really sold that well for me. I don't think that's the Le Creuset. Um, there's a nice blue and white porcelain in there. It is made in China. I'm not seeing the rest of the fairy light. Oh. That's kind of fun and vintage. <laughs> $2.99 made in Hong Kong. I love the florals on that. Um, it looks like the vases have navigated over to this section. Everything's moved around and I was just here last week. I don't see anything exciting though. There's a ton of milk glass vases. I've said this in previous videos and I'll say it again. By themselves, these uh, milk glass vases don't do the best, but when you have a whole lot of them, if you are able to acquire a lot of them, uh, the people will use them for weddings and events, and um, they can sell really well. But it looks like they've got them priced at $1.99. That's what I sold. I sold them out of my booth for two bucks a piece. Um, so I don't think it's really worth picking them up here for two bucks a piece. Uh, I don't really see anything else. I'm just catching my eye. Those are cute mugs. From a medieval book of hours in the Fitzwilliam Museum at Cambridge. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Bubble Yum mug. Looks interesting. Not really interesting enough. I do like this. What is this? Palm mystery. Kind of cool. And these, I like the design of those. I don't know, I don't suspect they're worth very much. That's really cute. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's cute. What in the world is this thing? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Is it boho? Is this what we call boho? I love that mustard yellow. I'm kind of digging the mustard yellow. I feel like we'll stick that in there for now. This is kind of a neat lamp. Um, unfortunately, it does look like it has some damage here. It's only $12.99. I'm sure if someone was creative, they could probably fix it up and make it look nice. Uh, of course, there is a leaf broken on that, so that's not going to do me any good. <laughs> Her head's a little wobbly. And she's very sweet. $2.99. Souvenir of Laurel Highlands. She's also a rattle. So I did find this, um, <laughs> this frog. This is actually by the same artist of uh, that Brenda Roarball. Warba, maybe? Um, and uh, it's $1.99. I like the frog much more than the sculpted piece. 
So this I'm gonna grab and I just noticed, is this what I think it is? I think it is. For the foot of your glass. I don't understand, are those like stuck together? Cause this is definitely for egg whites. I'm not really all that impressed by the rest of it, but I do want this. <laughs> so I'm gonna buy it just so I can have this egg white separator. We were talking about those on the show the other day. Those are really fun. I kind of like the look of this tile, so I turned it around and sure enough, it's treasure craft. I wasn't really expecting that. It's a really pretty blue. I don't know if this is more contemporary. I mean, it looks it. Either that or it was hardly ever used. I don't really know what being used means for a tile, but I'm going to also stuff that in there. It's getting a little, a little uh, hairy in there, but uh, we're going to keep going. <laughs> This is probably about my second, maybe third, walk up and down the shelves. All right, I found something else in the Halloween aisle that I like as I was walking by. I was like, I think I need to add that to my cart. That parrot is really fun. They have $24.99 on that. Just don't think I need it that bad. <laughs> I don't need it. It is really cool though. Uh, we are viewing the wood section for the first time. This is really cute. I love the way that's painted. I'm not gonna take it with me though. Oh, that's the creepy little doll in the bag. I looked at that last week. $14.99. Looks like an old quilt. It's a very soft old quilt too. I wonder how, uh, how worn it out it is. You can see that there are somewhere on the edges here where it has been well it hasn't even been restitched gosh old quilts always make me so nervous when it comes to cleaning them i won't even tell you how i clean them because a lot of you will cringe um <laughs> it works though it does the trick and i haven't ruined one yet gosh this thing is adorable <laughs> it's 199 and it's a chick playing a pear oh my goodness like, why though? It's just so cute. It would look really adorable on a gallery wall. Oh my goodness. I didn't even plan on filling a cart today. I was like, I'll just stop. I'll do a little shopping. I'll grab a couple things. Next thing you know, we're having a, a Halloween in April sale. Looks like somebody decided they would glue those together. Oh my goodness, there's his friend. I knew I had seen another one of these on the shelf somewhere. Now we have them both, that makes me happy. Then we also have this, but that's definitely something different. I will be honest with you, I never really liked Kermit. He always freaked me out. It's weird because he's like a person, but he's a frog. I don't know what this is um, or what's happening here, but I have lots of questions about it. What is this? What, what is this supposed to be? I don't know. <laughs> it's really fun. It also has like a hand for a tail. I don't know what it does. This is kind of a great sun. There's no markings on it. I love the colors. Very colorful sun. Alright. I think I'm almost done. All right, so this is kind of cool. Um, it has a tag on it that says Mario Chiodo Studios, um, and it's just like this hangy witch, right? $3.99, so I looked it up. I'd never heard of it before. Turns out that these Christmas workshop elves are definitely worth being on the lookout for. $324 for that one. Then of course you have these down here that are sold for like $31 and $30, but those were also auctions. So kind of all across the board, but um, those ones look interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna grab this. It's the, it's a Halloween, it's not a Christmas elf, but I think it might be worth grabbing for just $3.99. All right, well, it's been a long time since I filled my cart like this, um, but <laughs> since we have filled our cart, I think we're gonna do a cart review just to make sure that um, nothing ends up in the shop that is gonna sit around for 10 years. All right, let's start with the things we know are definite yes, and that would be the quilts. Um, this thing, I'm kind of having second thoughts about, I don't know, it's just really big. It's going to be a pain to ship, and I wouldn't think I'm keeping it for myself. So I'm going to actually hang that back on the shelf. Right here. Um, this is a yes. I wanted to look up a few of those witches, um, because they did have names on them, and they are 
$12.99, $15.99. Granted, if they're worth $40, bucks, i am going to pay that price, but if they're only worth like $20, it's not worth it to me. So this witch right here um, is marked Wayne Kleski on the back of her. Um, and here you can see there are a few Wayne Kleski dolls. Uh, this one sold for $59, this one sold for $60. And then there were a set of three minis that sold for 30. Um, I do want to show you something though, and this is why we always look at sold comps and not asking, because if I look at what people are asking for these dolls, it would be really, really exciting. Because here we have one, someone's asking $1,000, they're asking $850, they're asking for $100. They haven't actually sold it for this much. Um, so <laughs> to be realistic, we're looking at what they've actually sold for and not what people are asking. I could get on here and I can ask $5,000. Does that mean it's worth $5,000? No, it's not worth $5,000. But it is worth about 60, so for $15.99, I'm gonna do it. Uh, these other two dolls are not marked anywhere. I've looked all over them. They're very similar in style though, like super similar down to the painted nails. So it does surprise me um, that they are not the same. At least they're not signed. Um, but I think I'm just going to go for it. We're just going to grab everything. Um, I didn't get a chance to look this up. This is $3.99. I stuck that in the cart when nobody was looking. It looks familiar to me. That's why I grabbed it. But I, I, I don't know if it's Hull. Maybe? I'm not sure. No, it's $3.99. We'll grab it. Um, other than that, I'm pretty pleased with everything I have. Um, I have to remember to grab that quilt down underneath. Otherwise, I'll forget about it. Um, but I think we're gonna go check out and I will get a total for you from the car. All right, well, I forgot to film an outro there at the Hanover Goodwill. So I decided here two days later to film my outro at Big Hill Cider, which is a place that we come to often to hang out. Um, we're gonna be meeting some friends and family here and just hanging out and having a good time. So um, I'm gonna film some footage here. <laughs> we're gonna hang out, we're gonna get some pizza and uh, yeah hang out a little while and uh, I figured I'd bring you guys along for it. I'm gonna put my total spend from the Goodwill up here in the corner for you guys so you know how much I spent there at Goodwill um, but yeah it's uh, Easter weekend and we're kind of just laying low and doing our thing so um, all right I'll Gee. see you guys in a few. See ya! Well it just quit raining. <laughs> we're gonna go get some oven some oven fire fire oven i don't know what it's called we're gonna go get some pizza out of that big outdoor oven and it's gonna be delicious four i get five you get five it's five who's winning at uno no who's <laughs> uh, no. winning i won for the past two times oh, no way <laughs> Sage is the winner, Uno. You know that's going to be in the YouTube video, right? <laughs> it is, yeah. Sage yeah. is the winner. That's what you get for playing with novice players. Not only is she post-it queen, she <laughs> is Uno winner. Uno queen. <laughs> Uno <much>. queen. <laughs> Who's going on the merch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't challenge Sage in the Uno. <laughs> Here we go. We got it this time. <laughs>
an extra good tip so we can ring this very special bell up here. And I've never heard we ring. Like, warn everybody. <laughs> I know. Do we have to warn them? I How bad is it? Ring it. We're gonna jump scare We're everybody scared. by ringing this bell, and I'm gonna get it on video. It's sorry. that good. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. Hey, you're getting. I'm scared. <laughs> You can wait, you can wait. I don't want to interrupt their song. Yes. You ready? You're gonna be loud. You're gonna be loud. You ready? <laughs> That's the best snack in the world, Mimi. It's got pretzels and all of the things. It's got all the things, Ashton. It's the best snack. Is it good? No. <laughs> it's not. Is it good? Yeah.